brought clearly one of the more beautiful cars on the planet. Well, I won't argue that point. But I'm prejudiced. Well, yeah. what's the story on this car? How long did, has it been in the collection? Well, originally, my dad purchased it in 1956. 56? Yeah. Um, he then later had to sell it to uh, Hera. And bought, then bought it back. Hera actually restored it originally. And then I re-restored it. Wow. Uh, this car was in the original Great Gatsby movie with Alan Ladd. It killed Shelley Winters. Okay. The character. Right, right, yeah. When uh, they did the movie, they must have taken a sledgehammer to the right front fender to make it look like, you know, it hit somebody. It hit somebody, yeah. And you know you know the movie people, even in those days. I'm looking at it oh. when we strip the paint off it. And I'm front of, and I'm looking at it and yeah. Uh, this is not right. The left front fender was an inch and a half wider than the right front. <laughs> it isn't anymore. No. But it was. Yeah. Well, wow. this one is rare uh, only because it's a Rawson body, and Rawson did, uh, my understanding is, 10. Four of them were roadsters, and this is one of the four. Wow. Um, I don't think the other three are ex exactly like this, but uh, wow. it, that makes it rare, rarer in that era. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my dad sold it to Harris so he could get money to buy out Merle Norman. I swear to you, I was sitting at the auction next to your dad, when, and and that's what he told me, because he paid up for a car, and he, that's what he said. He said, there was no price too big for that car. That's that one? This car, this car, he actually purchased, this is his first car he purchased. I don't know what he paid for. I really, I mean, I could find out, but I don't know. I'm just sitting here. But he couldn't take delivery of it for two weeks. So he was driving home, and he saw this old car in a gas station. He went and he bought it. It was the 1930 DuPont Town Car. Oh. Okay? Which nowadays, you know, it's worth maybe three quarters of a mil or something like that, right? <coughs> He paid five hundred dollars for it. How are you doing, Governor? <laughs> he put sixty-five. He thought it'd only take about ten or fifteen thousand to restore. Put sixty-five thousand into it back in those days. Yeah, wow. Fifty-six, and drove it to Pebble Beach in fifty-eight, and won Best of Show. Wow. Yeah. See, that's what all this is founded on. Really, is guys like your dad that. He started. Now, you know, it's funny, you know, I've, I've been re-restoring some of the ones that he did, or finishing, whatever, anyway, and I'm finding that he was not as careful with authenticity that I am, uh, but that was just his. Yeah. If he wanted a car a certain car, he just painted it that, even though it never was painted that color. But something like a Duesenberg or a Packer, you can be any color you want. Sure. I mean, it's like the guy said on the loudspeaker today, there's probably no two Duesenbergs alike. Yeah. They're all different. I think it's a work free war, yep. I mean, Jeff Stalins can take it out there and uh, give it to the Nethercuts. There's another ample trophy case, I'm sure. There we go. I love Jack and Helen. Always have the best hats. They look like they belong in the car. 